What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is my niece, Christina, and she's gonna demonstrate how to jump start this car. We're gonna be using the Duracell Power Jump Starter Battery Bank, see the link below. All right, so it comes in a pouch like this and this is it. It is waterproof case, so if you're out in the rain and your car dies, it's not gonna get ruined. And it has a LED lighting for the charging. So it tells you if it's charged or not. And also when it's nighttime, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it has a light. And it even does the SOS flashlight too. That's good if you're broken down on the side of the and road. And a dim light, yeah. Okay, so this is the USB port and it charges your phone from dead to fully charged five times. And this right here is the jump start plug and it jump starts your car 25 times. Micro USB and that's to charge it overnight. And this right here is the LED status light. Okay guys, so what the light means, I'm gonna tell you right now what it means. If it's off, that means no cables are connected and if it flashes green the cables are connected and ready to connect to the vehicle and if it's solid green it's good internal voltage and it's ready to start and solid red and beeping while connecting it means a, to recheck the connections and the clamps also which is kind of like a bonus has the safeguard so if the clamps touch each other they won't spark up all right so right now we have a voltmeter we're gonna test the voltage so we have 3.7 volts on the battery which is way under the 12.2 needed to start the car so anything uh, above 12.2 volts should be able to start this vehicle most vehicles all right so we're gonna clamp the positive first and then the negative to the negative side of the terminal you want to make sure you wiggle it on so you have good contact now, before you jump start your car, make sure you have a clean terminals uh, and a tight uh, you know, connection on your battery before you start because a lot, sometimes uh, just a loose connection on your battery will cause the car not to start. Or another thing is that if the battery is leaking battery acid, it will cause a barrier and lower the voltage and you won't be able to start your car. So simply cleaning the battery terminals and tightening the nuts will actually get your car to jump start but of course if your car battery is dead you're gonna need to use this jump pack so the LED is now solid green so we're good to go I'm gonna jump start the car and before you jump start the car you wanna make sure that you turn off your headlights and turn off the radio Oh, you have to hold it down. Oh, okay. That's it. Works. Alright, let's disconnect it. Worked like a charm. So if you see any kind of battery acid like this, then you should check your battery at AutoZone and see if your battery is still in good shape. Also, um, check your warranty because you can get a free battery replacement at AutoZone or Walmart if it's under warranty. Okay guys, so if you guys found this video informative, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and make a comment on what you think. And share this video to anyone that may need this product. And if you're interested in purchasing this product, check out the link below.